everybody and welcome. Today I'm over here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, also known as the Jumbo House. We're getting a lot of people sending us some requests to get over here and get the uh, Jumbo House and the Kadani Village Resorts filmed up, so I'm over here today. Morgan and Marley are out on a vacation, so it'll just be me filming today. And this is what you guys are greeted with. Once you go through the gate and you get up near the resort, this is the main entrance. So you're going to park your car over to the left, and then you're going to walk through this area where the actual valet and stuff is, and then you're going to walk up into the actual Animal Kingdom Lodge, Jumbo House. Over here is one of the actual stores in the Jumbo House. Get a better look at that. It's called the Zwadi. And here's one of the windows of the actual store. Sometimes they have new items in there. They'll put the new uh, merchandise up in there. Shout it out. Show you this. Just some shirts and basic items they got in there, but that's pretty much what you guys are going to see. Continue on in. These are the main doors you're going to walk through to get into the actual resort. This is your little, it's like a little foyer you walk into. Automatic doors. A little view up on top. And this is what you're greeted with when you walk all the way into the resort. So this is a really big grand entrance in here. It reminds me a lot of the uh, Wilderness Lodge, but your check-in is over to the left, and that's your main area right there. I'm gonna get my camera to adjust. It's a little dark in here. Coming out, this is the check-in. So it's actually a really big section here, so they can help a lot of people at once. So when you get over here, even if the line's pretty big, they move through you guys really quickly. That's a nice size uh, check-in. And right here is your main area. This is uh, where you guys are going to hang out if you just want to hang out in the lodge. And then once again, this is another big, big resort, just like the Animal or the Wilderness Lodge. Very similar in style. And the detail in here is just incredible. This is another one along with the wilderness that has that. If you look up on the rails, if you look at the uh, artwork up in the ceiling, all the lighting, everything is just incredibly like perfect. The detail is just crazy in here. And that's a walk over bridge up above. We'll head on down through the center here and out the back you have your uh, big great window out there that's going to overlook the uh, savannah out back. Now this is the actual resort that you guys are going to go to if you want to see the animals. And that's out back. Get a little bit of the savannah back there. So I'm upstairs now. I took the elevator up because I want to get you guys to see the bridge looking down. I always like this bridge. And you can come up. If you guys come over and visit this resort, you can actually just take the elevator up, count the floors, and go on up. I think this one's up on the third floor here. Another look out the back window there. It's a massive window, and you can see they've got the artwork on the window, like it looks like real vines. And that's down below. you got some ostriches as the lights right there. It's really beautiful. Even the bridge is just incredible. What the work they put into it is crazy. And I'm looking out over the, uh, the main area here. And I'll work my way down to the end before we head on down. Give you guys a feel for the actual resort. It's just a very beautiful, beautiful resort. It's, it's almost, a, to me, the a, a, like duplicate of the uh, Wilderness Lodge. 
There's your doors. So they got their little shields on them. And you got your big fake wooden pillars. They look like real wood going up, but they're all tied up in a rope. And these are your hallways you're going to walk down. So when you're walking down, instead of just having a basic, like, bland hallway, you can look over the sides and see what's down below, see the people down below. You might see someone you know. And there's where the bridge comes right out of that little piece. And over here is one of the areas that you're not going to be able to uh, access unless you're a member. So right here is out looking over that when you're heading over towards the elevators, it's right through the elevators. Looking down at the pool, you get a little bit at the top of the resort up here. And you can actually come out. There's a few of these around the property. So you can actually walk out and look at the pool and look what's going on down below. And we're back down on the first floor again. So now we're going to walk around the actual resort. And here's your map. When you walk in, just about every resort has a map on it. it gives you a little better feeling where you are. There's the elevators I just came down. And over here is the Boma restaurant. I actually have this video posted. I believe we shot it a while ago. So if you're looking for it, just go uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge, Boma Restaurant, and then Country Bear Tours. We do have it posted. It's a nice walk too. If you guys were over here visiting or just checking out the resort, Walk up and down the stairs. You can walk in and out of just about anywhere. You're not going to get in the restaurant unless you have your reservations, but you know you can at least walk and see a lot of stuff. This is kind of like around the back where you can still see the restaurant. They really push that restaurant. I think they want you to see it so you can eat there. And heading outside, this is like an overlook area where you can come outside. And you look around, you see an animal out there, way out there. Sometimes you get lucky and you'll see the animals out back, other times you're not gonna. Right now it's a little warm out here, so you're not really gonna see much. These are the little things that tell you about the animals, giraffe, Tell you a little bit about the giraffe, the roan antelope, and the zebra. Little fun facts. There's a little campfire area there where you can sit around. It's a little bit of the savannah and more of the rooms that go around the outside so you can actually look at the animals from your rooms. And when you guys are staying over here, different rooms do cost different amounts of points or money. We'll make our way downstairs. And once again, this is a very big resort, like the Animal King or like the uh, Wilderness Lodge. And this is the uh, fire pit. It's a little fire area at nighttime that lights up. We're going to walk over, see if we can see anything out on the savanna over here. I haven't seen many animals. I was looking out some of the windows walking, and I didn't see much. I know it's hot out, so the animals don't really like to sit out in the hot sun. This is usually filled up with the uh, pelicans, and I'm not seeing anything out here. We got a bird out there. Let's make our way to the other side. This is the back of the resort looking at it to give you an idea how how enormous it is. And you're gonna see these little uh, signs all over the uh, resort. And if you guys are looking to stay here, this is one of the nicer rest or nicer uh, resorts. It's got a lot to offer and keep you busy. 
It's like the uh, boardwalk gives your uh, kids a lot to do. Uh, the Wilderness Lodge, there's so much to do over there. And this is another one of them. It's a lot of ground and a lot of things to do here. And once again, not every time you come out, you're going to see the animals. Sometimes you get lucky when you see them out there feeding them and you'll see piles of animals. Other times you really won't see anything, depending on the day, how hot it is, what they're up to. And there's different sections out back here also, guys. So you're going to have, and here's another one of these signs. But there's different sections, so you can come around and uh, view the animals at different uh, viewing points. spinners with the animals on it. Let's see what we got over here. Let's look at this guy. See now he's out and you can see him because he's feeding. But there's your giraffe. Anything else out there? Not really. And we got one more section around the corner we'll go check out quick before we head back up into the resort. But just walking under these rock ledges and stuff, it's incredible. They look real, but obviously they're man-made, but they, they look like they've been uh, pretty much carved out of the stone. And this is gonna be your last vantage point of seeing the animals out there, so let's see if we got anything out there. That's some stuff way off in the distance there, but nothing up close, so. Today's not a really good day to be out here viewing the animals, obviously, there's nothing out there. But it's always worth checking in and out during the day. Now, if you're staying here, you may see more than just visiting. Give you an idea how enormous this building is. And the detail is just incredible. You got the little antelope horns up on top there. And this is actually right now we're in the back section of the resort. So this is walking in from being outside to walking in. This is what you're gonna see. You've got two staircases going up. You can either go up left or right, or yeah. there's really an up or a down, so you can use either side. Or you can walk around, and I believe they got the elevator off to the other side there. There's always elevators and stairs to get you around. We've got these birds called uh, lights right there. Yeah. That really nice. We're going to head on back through the center right now, give you guys a feel for what the uh, resort actually looks like coming in from the back instead of the front now. So things are spun around, but you got your, your grand area there where you're going to check in, and that goes all the way down. So that's a nice check-in section instead of just having one. But once again, if they don't have the people there helping out, that's not really going to help you out. So if it's full and they've got enough people, they should be able to check people in pretty quick. And up here to the left is the uh, store, the Zwatties. And they've got these old glass uh, cages all over the place. Zwatties. And this is actually their big marketplace store. It's huge. So now we're on the elevators. Give you guys an idea what this uh, elevator looks like on the inside. I like to film the inside of these so you get a feel for what they're like. Each elevator is different. Now we're downstairs. We're actually on the ground floor and we're next to Gico's, the restaurant. 
trying to see if I'm able to get in there today, and I don't believe I'm going to be able to and film that, but we do have it posted. Just post up Chico's Restaurant, Country Bear Tours. And this is Beaumont from downstairs, so if you want to take the stairs, this is where you come down. But just give you a feel for how incredible this restaurant is. This is a very beautiful restaurant. If, if I had to say for like the uh, uh, beauty of it, this would be one of my favorite restaurants, just with the look and the feel. I haven't eaten here though. We're gonna have to get over and try it. But it's a beautiful restaurant in here. It's just incredible looking in and seeing everything. It's the atmosphere is incredible. The stairs. Yeah, I think out of all the restaurants on property, this is probably the one that they put the most into. Chico's is a nice restaurant, but it's just a basic, uh, like kind of like a bland restaurant. Nothing special. Walk in. It looks nice. Don't get me wrong, but it's not. It's not Boma. And when you walk into the uh, whole Boma section, it smells incredible, guys. That's inside right there to the Chico's restaurant. So if you do want to see that, just type up Chico's. Animal Kingdom Lodge Chico's, and you'll see that. They let me film in there another time, but we're making our way right now around to the Mara, which is one of the little fast food places to go. So most, most of the resorts have a basic, uh, kind of like that little, uh, almost like McDonald's, if you'd call it, uh, restaurant on property. You go in, they've got the quick foods, uh, the drinks. It's fairly inexpensive compared to the bigger restaurants. And that would be like the Mara down here. This is their small one where if you don't want to go and have the big dinners and you just want to gr go grab some quick stuff, this is where you guys are going to head. It's actually really incredible inside there. I think I have this video posted also. So you can go on, uh, type up uh, the Mara uh, Jumbo House, the Mara restaurant, and then uh, type up Country Bear Tours. But I'm not going to go in there right now. I'm going to show you what the menu here from the outside looks like. That's what you're going to see when you come up. You're going to go right in there. Over to the left is all your food. Over to the right is all your seating. Now we're going to continue around the back. Over here you've got a little kid's pool section, so the kiddie's pool. And then you've got the restrooms, the arcade, and that guy. And there's the bathrooms right there. On the front of the doors you've got the... Uh, the boy and the girl lions out there, or Simba and Nala. There's a little kid's pool right there. And also, if you guys see us walking around any of our videos and we get something wrong or you're curious on something, feel free to comment. There's our arcade. We have that posted. I think I've got a few videos of that posted so you can see what that looks like. And now we're heading over around the pool section. And it's a big old walkway around back here, guys. So you've got the pool off on the right. Up on the left, you got the Savannah. And there's a lot of walking, so you've got your feet are going to be doing some work. That's why this is one of the funner uh, resorts. You've got so much property to cover, so there's always something to do. Even if it's raining out, there's something to do, you know? There's the pool. I'll get a better shot when I get to the other side, but that's a quick look at the pool right there, guys. And we have the pool posted. I've got a couple of videos on the pool also. And here's another one of your signs. So these guys are going to give you a little bit of a story as you're walking around. You'll see them here and there. As you're going over here, this is going to be another vantage point for looking at the animals. And you've got your little jacuzzis over here on the right. It's like 90 degrees out. Not sure why anybody would be in a jacuzzi, but to each his own, right? And you'll usually have somebody standing out here that'll tell you a little bit about the uh, safari here. It'll tell you about Africa. 
So there's usually somebody and they're usually standing under one of these tents. Earlier they had one on the other side. And let's take a look out over to Savannah, see what we got out there. Yeah, it's really hot out today. I don't think the animals want to be out. So now if you were staying in this resort, you'd be able to see a lot more animals because you'd be out here more. Make our way back over to the pool. your towel returns or your towel uh, where you want to get it towel issue that's a little odd sounding so if you're, you want to go swimming that's where you're going to pick up a towel and then you'll have a spot where you can uh, ditch the towel when you're done with it and this uh, walkway goes all the way around the pool so if you guys aren't sure where you are you can just keep walking it's a big circle I'm going to give you another angle right here of the pool out back here it's a really huge pool Back in the day when they first did it, the bottom wasn't the right color, and a lot of people were complaining about it, so they changed it. Now it uh, doesn't really go with the uh, actual, you know, what color they believed it to be. So now it's a bluish color, so people don't like green-looking pools, so that's a lot friendlier to swim in. And over here we got the flamingos right across from the pool. And I will say they do have this cleaned up. Usually you walk by and it's not the best smelling place, but today it's not bad at all. I love these little guys. Your little babies in the background there. They're usually a little more pink than that. We'll continue around. You got these little statues going around. They're kind of cool. They remind me of a little lighthouse, but the African artwork there. And it's funny because we know this to be like Africa, but I was actually in Africa and this actually isn't what Africa looks like. But it's funny because this is what our brain says Africa looks like. I remember there were a lot of monkeys over there. Monkeys are like squirrels over there. You gotta keep your windows, watch your windows because they'll come in and grab the food out of your uh, kitchen. There's a little playground. It's actually a decent sized playground for your kids too. I'm gonna continue on. I, I think I got the playground and a couple other videos posted. There's another jacuzzi in there. And it's still over 90 degrees out. And you got the entrance to the slide on the right hand side for the kids going up. And this is the back section of the pool. So if you're walking back to the resort over there, this is the last section. I got a little bridge. This is probably one of the better viewing sections. Slides over there in the corner. See, it's a nice size pool. You got plenty of space in there. Even with all the people. And actually, if you're noticing, there really isn't a lot of people at the resort today. And Disney's been slow lately, so this is, uh, it's different to see. And that's about it, guys. We'll see you on the next one.